What is it for? Well, you know, a lot of people in the world don't have access to electricity. Poorer countries than ours, they could, uh, you know, preserve food. Relief organizations could preserve medicines, vaccines. It's pretty small. Oh, no. I can make one bigger. That is Justin Thoreau, starring in The Mosquito Coast, a new series from Apple TV Plus, based on the famed novel that was written by a member of Justin's family. More on that in a moment. Thoreau began his career on stage in New York City, where he lives today. He landed roles on Sex in the City and in movies like American Psycho and the David Lynch classic Mulholland Drive. More recently, Thoreau played the lead in the acclaimed HBO series The Leftovers. But the attention he earned as a self-described character actor became a frenzy when he began dating and then married Jennifer Aniston. Now divorced, the two remain close friends. Justin and I got together recently at his own bar for a Sunday sit-down and a walk around the neighborhood. Justin Thoreau's high-profile marriage made him a magnet for flashbulbs. You get out with Kuma, walks like yeah, this all the time? Everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. I'm not going to deprive myself of that. When the cameras catch him now, he usually is with a different kind of leading lady. What do we got, Kuma? What Good do you got there? there? His rescue pit bull, Kuma. Kuma doing her duty of urinating everywhere in the New York Park system. Got to. Um, yeah. It's part of being a New Yorker. Exactly. <laughs> Dogs and people. Exactly. If Thoreau looks like a local, it's because he is. The 49-year-old has lived in New York for the better part of three decades. He was a bartender here on Manhattan's Lower East Side before acting paid the bills. New York's spontaneous, you know. It's not like L.A. or any other place. You know, it's like you can walk outside, bump into a friend, sit down, you have lunch. Yeah. It's that great thing of, like, you never are at a loss for something to do. Like slipping into a neighborhood bar Come on. and striking up a conversation with the owner. We're in your We're joint in right my now. My joint right now. This is Ray's. I've been to a lot of great dive bars in places like Nashville, Austin, Mm -hmm. Atlanta, and this feels like all of those places to me. This is the kind of bar where basically no drink takes more than about 20, 25 seconds to make. Right. And if you want something fancy, you can go somewhere else. Right now, we need to go. They found us. Thoreau's latest project takes him to Central America's Mosquito Coast in the new Apple TV Plus series of the same name. The kids could get hurt. They're not going to get hurt. They're with us. Oh, that's what I'm worried about. He stars as Ali Fox, a radical inventor whose family is on the run from the U.S. government, in a story based on the 1981 novel by another Thoreau, Justin's Uncle Paul. It's about a man who's sort of loosely based on several family members, my grandfather being one of them, sort of a thrifty, industrious inventor. And he's this very sort of, hopefully by turns, charismatic charming, infuriating guy. As I was watching the episode, I couldn't decide if I was rooting for him at certain times or, or what his motives were or what That's exactly. kind of by design. If we've done our job, you're constantly sort of asking that question of, is he the most loving, wonderful father for giving these children this experience? We're not your family, Dad. We're your audience. Or is he the worst man on the planet? <laughs> Do you really believe that? Born and raised in Washington, D.C., in a family of successful writers and filmmakers, Thoreau began acting in high school. I had a, um, a desire to get to New York from an extremely early age. For me, it was flash dance, which I only later found out was actually like Philly or something. <laughs> but it's that dream of like that big loft with like, yes. you know, a torch welder in it and, you know, uh, windows that were floor to ceiling. And, and then you got here and realized you couldn't I got afford here that and realized. remotely. Yeah, hope you like places with no showers or toilets. 
There are a couple of rites of passage for a New York actor. You can be a corpse on Law & Order. We know that's yep. one. I don't yep. think you did that. I didn't. I, I'm st if Law & Order, if you're listening, I, I'm ready to be a corpse whenever you want. <laughs> okay, so um, you're pitching yourself for that. I'll play drug dealer and sell PCP. <laughs> now you're getting a little greedy here. Let's <laughs> yeah, just get exactly. you on the show. And then the other one is, of course, to be on Sex and the City. Yes. Which you were twice. Twice. But as different guys. As different guys. Now, how does that happen? Well, I think, you know, it's about girls who are dating all the time. You burn through every single male actor in New York, you know? Hey, Stanford. I, think I did a sort of a small part on the first one. Oh, Jared, have you met Carrie Bradshaw? No, but I've read your column. I <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> you know, enters frame, says a few things, and then leaves frame. And they were like, why don't you come back? Can you come back? And their idea was that we, they would just shave my head. <laughs> I was dating someone brand spanking new. They were like, voila. Total transformation. <laughs> Just hope they don't notice. <laughs> so, <laughs> Playback and action. The Rose soon landed big roles in small Later. films. This is the girl. You don't know me anymore. I'm the only one here who knows you. <laughs> and small roles in big films. While co-writing blockbusters like the 2008 comedy Tropic Thunder. You guys all read the script, right? That'll be a script. Script reads me and Marvel's Iron Man 2. Lindy, you want to top that? No, All right. I, I won't right now. Justin had achieved a comfortable level of fame by the time he began dating Jennifer Aniston. Their relationship became an obsession of the tabloids. Was that a shock to your system, though? Ten years ago, when you started dating Jennifer and got I married, think, all that attention that you got. Yeah, I think a part of me was like, you know, I'm I'm a, essentially sort of a character actor and a writer. There's not much there. Jason Bateman actually once gave me one of the most sage pieces of advice ever. He said, "Look, um, in that side of the entertainment industry, a character is about to be born, right. and that character is you, but it's not you. That character is, you know." angry that character has got a problem that character is you know sweet it's just this little soap opera that gets written in the margins um and he said and so my advice is don't follow that guy's storyline and it was a good piece of advice because i stuck to it and that's the only way you can sort of keep sane and all that be able to block all that out i mean that's great yeah advice, i mean it's hard sometimes when that? you're leaving the house and there's blah blah it's an unsolvable riddle so you kind of just go eh, i don't know why you know it's that fascinating and now what they're getting is Kuma well, listen, on Christie Street. Well, listen, a rescue pit bull, I'm happy to promote that. <laughs> New York also has a pretty good way of kind of not accepting the people that don't, right, aren't geared for this. On the streets of his New York neighborhood, far from Hollywood, Thoreau is at home with the bar where he and his dog are just a couple of regulars. It's definitely not for everybody. Yeah. Oh, look, there's people that also hate it, but I don't understand. Big thanks to Justin and especially to Kuma. If you're in New York, stop in and check out Ray's, as you might expect from its owner. It's a cool spot. Justin's new series, The Mosquito Coast, premieres on Apple TV Plus this Friday, April 30th. And don't forget to subscribe to the Sunday Sit Down podcast to hear the full length interview with Justin Thoreau. You can find it on Apple Podcasts or wherever you get yours. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.